Well, probably what will happen is we'll probably all just like plug into something like the Matrix. We'll all just like plug into the internet. So the world will like go to shit and we'll just be like in our mental space. Like that will be like the universe is the infinity of your mind kind of thing. I mean, that's all space is. It's just matter. So whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. I mean, that's like, that's plenty for the air, but yeah. I mean, like basically like what we're doing with the show, we're just like, we're trying to get people to like think critically to like, to, like ask the questions rather than accept the answers. I mean, like you're familiar with that train of thought, whereas like a lot of people are like, kind of really aren't, like they just like grow up watching some inside type thing. Well, yeah, and a lot of people just think it's stupid. Yeah, I don't know if you want to say that. Well, a lot of people just think it's stupid. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I don't know, but who can, who knows? Maybe it is, maybe it is. I know, right? But like, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Like, because I mean, the fact is, like, we want to get people thinking about stuff that like they won't hear on the six o'clock news. Yeah, type thing. Oh yeah. So, yeah. Well, you definitely won't. Like, have you like you guys have seen Zeitgeist? Yeah. yeah. Like the whole Zeitgeist and conspiracy and I don't know. There's all there's all kinds of videos about all kinds of like yeah. all kinds of that shit. I mean, there's been. And like they make it out so that those conspiracists like look yeah. like conspiracists, yeah. like they're crazy. This and, like, is the truth. Yeah, this is the truth. Like we're telling you the truth. Like I don't know if it was just some regular guy that said, you know, hey, I know that like, like it's it's obvious that like we're all controlled by whoever and blah blah. We have no freedom. We just think we do, and you know we do. We have the freedom to not be free. Like we have the freedom to do anything we want within our little playground. You know, like yeah. I mean, what is true freedom? I mean, is freedom being able to like just kill people or like dress the way you want or like to be able to believe in things you want? But if you if like you can believe anything you want in your head because no one's ever going to know, right? But it's if you want to express it and get other people to believe, that's when they start shutting you down because they're like in control, right? Like, yeah. Corporations and all that shit. I mean, who knows, man? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, true. In conclusion, yeah, no, for sure. Um, yeah, it's good. We, we can end it there. Cool. Um, but yeah, if you just want to say your name, just say, like, I give you guys permission to use this footage. My name is Ethan Henderson. I give you guys permission to use this footage. Yeah, cool, cool. And uh, I, I don't know, me and my friend Sanjay have always, like, like, since, like, four years ago, since, like, 2008, we were sitting and, like, looking shit up about Mayan calendar, and, yeah. like, I don't know, we're, I don't know, we went nuts on it. We were talking about consciousness and how, like, you can go from like a single cell, you can go from like a single cell organism, right? Yeah. That's only conscious of like its own existence. Like it can't see, it can't hear, it can't touch, but it can like, it exists, you know? Yeah. And then like that cell comes into a multiple cell organism. And that organism has some kind of consciousness of something around it, you know what I mean? And then you get into like things that, like organisms that can communicate and swim and feel and touch and they start gaining senses and more consciousness. And it's led all the way to this point of like people being conscious about everything around us, like compared to like a pack of gorillas who are conscious of only what they can, you know, yeah. process in their head. And we're like just the extreme of everything. Like we can comprehend anything, anywhere almost kind of thing, right? And eventually these these levels of consciousness, when you start realizing things around you, like they're going in shorter and shorter intervals. So like we're realizing more and more and creating more and more every day. And like sometime, like at some point in time, there's gonna be like life changing, like um, things happening like every day yeah. and we're not gonna be able to stop it. Yeah. And then maybe it's just gonna go too fast in momentum and like we're gonna implode or like a lot of people who can't accept it are gonna die. Or it's gonna be about like, or it's gonna be a huge war over it, but like, as long as everyone has nuclear bombs, no one's going to get in a war, right? Because sure. like, well, they will nuclear they. bombs are the peace. Because yeah. if everyone has nuclear bombs, no one's going to start a war. If there's people without it and people with, then there's going to be a war. But if everyone has nuclear... Like, give everyone nukes. Give everyone nukes, man. Everyone needs some nukes Sound to like keep peace. Stores. What? Sound like grocery yeah. stores right beside the microwaves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Fucking, I don't know, but yeah, we always looked up that shit, man. Yeah, yeah. like, have you guys, like, I mean, like, yeah, obviously I've done a lot of my research on that, too, and, like, and not to say, like, I'm focusing on conclusion, but, like, one thing that I say, and I hear, like, reiteration is this idea that, like, we literally are, like, one infinite consciousness. Oh, so in that sense, for like, sure. Are, like, oh, yeah, and that's what I'm saying, like, and you can say that, like, be like, yes, that is kind of how it works, and, and no, there's, like, but, evidence, in a sense. Yeah, and, and it's when just, you, like, the way we live. Yeah, and when you look at it, like, every next generation always builds on the past and what everyone has learned from the past and you take what everyone else in civilization has learned and you build on it it's not like everyone is starting from scratch and being like you know what i mean it's like not everyone is just making up shit like they all take in what they see around them so everything that you do is based on what someone else has done so it's just a shared 
whatever. It's like the internet, man. Like pretty much. Oh yeah. Like the internet, internet is like the most amazing thing ever yeah. fucking created. It's like a whole. It's endless. It's like space. Internet is cyber. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's just like yeah, it will never like stop. The microcosm and the macrocosm. It is. The it it is really like, is, and it's just like it's like a library of everything we've ever done or seen or like ev everything. Yeah, yeah. It's like the world. It's like it's better than the fucking world because we can't we can't pollute yeah. the internet. You can't pollute the internet. You can't. Oh burn. sure you can. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of pollution on the internet, but yeah, yeah. It's, but you yeah, know what I mean in the sense yeah. that you can't. Yeah, yeah. You know. That's pretty sick. Yeah, and like I guess uh, like what what are your thoughts like during the series? What are your thoughts on like reincarnation? Like have you given that thought? Like do you kind hmm. of? Well, no, I, I I don't know. I, I like every time you or everything, every time it's. A, organism dies or a creature dies like their energy gets passed on in some way whether it gets absorbed into the ground and then that soil fucking makes plants grow or an animal eats you and shits you out like either way your energy is going to go through so i don't know about reincarnation but i i believe in like like uh i don't know everything is feeding off the energy from everything before you know yeah, like so, yeah. i don't know about reincarnation man like to think that like your consciousness comes out in another life as another creature or like is that well it kind of like it's to explain in a way how i understand it in a nutshell it's basically like like literally like the experiences that we have like are for like the universal experience of everything so like it would make sense if one single are you away. are you a copy left instead I, of a copyright i don't like have you seen i don't re turn myself rip that? remix Where, matter that yeah <laughs> no no are you, what is that it's like uh it's like intellectual property right like if you came up with an idea yeah. that was innovative, would you share it and let other people take it, remix it, fucking tear it apart and cut it up and put it back together again? Yeah. Or would you say, that's my idea, it's mine, like, I want all credit for it, I want to be yeah. paid I for it. I would like be in the middle, I guess. You guess like, yeah, it would depend, yeah. right? I mean, like, I want, it's I the want balance. my stuff to be myself, but I want people to feed from my stuff yeah. and make their own stuff. See, that's like the, the balance that everyone's trying to get in this yeah. copyright battle yeah, is like, yeah. what's fair use? You know, yeah, yeah. can you take my, like if I drew Mickey Mouse, like the guy, like yeah. you take Mickey Mouse, but if you take Mickey Mouse and put him like doing, you know, racist, whatever <laughs> things. Dealing coke. Dealing coke, creative. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. If you do that, then obviously the creator is going to say, hey, like, you know, you fucking yeah, totally yeah. turn around. But if like, if you took the mouse and, I don't know. It's like violating the sanctity of the Yeah, character. exactly, who knows. Yeah, man. but at the same time, you know, they give out books on how to draw Mickey Mouse. Right, yeah. yeah. No for the general it's like, public. It's like the so daycare really that had fault. Mickey Mouse characters up on the wall for their kids, and they were like, you have to take that down, that's copyright. Yeah, they got really, sued. Yeah, and they so got sued. I mean, <laughs> Society. Yeah. So, I don't know, like, yeah. it's like, like the documentary says, like, all the ideas, we're going into a revolution where, like, it'll be back in the public domain, and, like, people can take an idea, rip it apart, put it back together and create from it. Like it takes it takes like skill to be able to recreate something well. Yeah. You know, DJ Girl Talk doesn't just take a song and play another song over it and make it sound like shit. He has to like cut all the tempo and slice it together and change the pitch and double the pitch to make sure it's higher and faster and you know what yeah. I mean? It, it's like a fucking art itself. Like so how do you say that like he can't do that. <laughs> he can. He does. Yeah. And he's and he's fucking like. Look at the concerts he throws, man. Like thousands of people having an amazing time. Like all to music that like they'd otherwise have to like watch a rapper perform or like you know what I mean. Yeah. They'd have to associate themselves with a group in order to listen to it. Yeah. And this way you can take it all and fucking put it together and like it doesn't matter. You know. I don't. I don't, I don't know which one's better personally. Like, I mean, I'm like in the music industry. Like I'm gonna be a yeah. musician somewhat there and like. Know, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna like write a song and like let people just take it and tear it apart, or am I gonna write a song and say, hey, every time you use that, every time you listen to it, pay me, I want it, yeah. like it's mine. Like, who knows? It depends what they're doing with it, right? right, right. If some kid takes my song and fucking puts it out as, as his own, then I'm gonna say, yo, what the fuck? But if he takes my song and puts it to a cool video that he made and it like really helps the video, then I'll be like, yeah, that's cool, you know? Well, it's not like they won't credit you for your work at the same time. Yeah, and if anything, someone's gonna hear that song and say, "Hey, I wonder who made that," and they're gonna look me up. There you so, go. Exactly. Yeah. Who knows? So yeah, I mean, like, yeah, we're all in this together. Too. Yeah, it really is, and I don't know, like consciousness, like that's with the Mayan calendar and the levels of consciousness. Maybe like this whole copyright dispute, like intellectual property, is part of that because the consciousness of like you know all the ideas around you and what's around you and who everyone is and what's important and what's not. I mean, if it's all collective, then it's easier to grasp. Yeah. I mean, um, cool. All right, yeah, yeah no, that's, that's good. good.